All right, guys, welcome back to another video. We have probably saw a lot of these homes in major cities going down in price. But if you go over to like Ohio, Indiana, if you go to like some of the suburbs of Tampa, those are the homes that do extremely well. And even in places like San Francisco, which used to be a massive hot investment for real estate, I mean, some of these condos are actually going for somewhat affordable prices. Like, this is actually a very, very good area in San Francisco, okay? This area is very nice next to the sea. I mean, this condo building is fairly new in, as well, and it's only $600,000 for 500 square feet. I know that's outrageous, but for an S-tier city like San Francisco, it's really not that bad. But prices are still going down. In fact, nobody's buying this. People are getting pretty mad about these expensive homes. Now, if you go to Miami, for example, the reason why Florida real estate just isn't dropping is pretty simple. I mean, $500,000, $600,000 gets you more than a one-bedroom. Guys, if you go to Brickle, okay, Brickle, Miami, the most luxurious place of all of the city, it's downtown, skyscrapers, luxury condos, you name it, Lambos, G-Wagons, and $600,000 gets you like a luxury one bedroom with views of the sea or a decent two bedroom with views of the city. Like you pick. I mean, look at this. I mean, amazing water views for like $600,000. So you get the idea. This is why places in Florida are not going down in price. I mean, it's better. It's newer, you know, better city environment. And people are just kind of sick of a lot of these tech cities with all the homelessness and all the crazy stuff going on. Look at the Redfin News report, guys. Homeowners have lost $2.3 trillion in value since June's peak. And you know a lot of this lost value is being passed on to everyday home traders. A lot of people who traded homes on 0% interest rates, they're making a lot of money, fat stacks, but whoever bought the top, especially in the West Coast areas, they are suffering and feeling the pain. Now, this is going to be an older report, but the newer Redfin report and the Zillow report has seen that prices of a lot of these real estate markets are continuing to go down. In fact, we finally got an actual pullback in the past 12 years. And usually bear markets start every 10 to 15 years. So we are kind of in this territory. So 2023, you will be seeing a very unique situation. It's not going to be like 2008, where every single place in the U.S. drops in price. But instead, you're going to be having specific areas like Miami, Tampa, basically all of Florida, let's just say that, going up in price or holding steady in price because a lot of people are flowing in. There's a mass migration from the West Coast to the East Coast. Florida is a pretty big hotbed. Nobody wants to pay California's crazy high income tax when you don't really get anything from it. You know, Florida is like 0%. It's great. Texas is 0%. This is why people like these areas. And guess what? A lot of these condos are going to be sold for very, very good prices. Um, two bed, two bath, literally views of the sea and the beach, $650,000. I know it's a very expensive price, but for what you get, like I said before, for S-tier city, it is an incredible deal that you would not find anywhere else in the world. And Miami cuisine and tourism and things to do, it just beats everyone else. Like, look at this, a luxury skyscraper. Okay, two bed, two bath, almost a thousand square feet. This is a big flex to live in, and it's only seven hundred seventy nine thousand dollars, which could only get you like a one bedroom in San Francisco. And you get the idea why the California real estate market is tanking so much. Why would you get that when you could get something that looks like this? It looks absolutely incredible. So this is why you're seeing a big disparity in real estate. I mean, most of the $2.3 trillion loss in value isn't really in New York City, isn't really in like a small suburban areas or Florida. It's mostly lost by California, which really leads us to the question, if so many of these homes are going down in value, I guarantee you commercial real estate is going down even more. Some of these commercial real estate properties are being sold for super cheap. Some are even being sold for $300, $400 per square feet, which is unheard of for a big, big tech city like San Francisco. This is really, really bad, guys. And we're seeing a lot of you know, scary things going on in the real estate market. We're seeing banks having a ton of bad commercial loans. And that's not me saying it. That's like Charlie Munger and Berkshire Hathaway gang saying it. So you kind of see... What's going on in the markets? A lot of these units are being sold for cheap, not looking so good. 
Okay, we're, they, everyone in San Francisco, the Bay Area, Seattle, Chicago, we're all expecting all the workers to come back after the pandemic, but none of them really came back. A lot of them were like, okay, we could work from home. Big companies are like, oh, wow, working from home is such a good option. I mean, look at this, guys. I mean, when you see such a big retail space on the bottom, this is enormous, had a very, very good area, only selling for $9 million. That is not great at all, okay? Per square feet wise, $700 is extremely cheap for a tech capital like San Francisco. If you go to other places, I mean, even like Shenzhen, China, you know, Tokyo, Japan, Singapore, you know, Dubai and the UAE, office space is actually worth so much more than what we're seeing in California. And this is like, you know, the big demise, right? You know, bad politics combined with people getting kind of mad, high taxes, and nothing ever really gets done. It's absolutely destroying the real estate market. This is going to be affecting a lot of the banks, guys. A lot of the banks right now are like, oh, crap. Like, I just spent millions of dollars constructing this condo building, and now nobody's renting it. Nobody's buying it. In fact, nobody's buying it to the point that they might as well just sell the whole building to itself to someone else. But there's no big buyers that's dumb enough to buy a building like this. It's just a pretty bad situation that we're seeing. So, so far, you know, we're seeing a big disparity, like I said before. It's not like $2.3 trillion are wiped off, you know, evenly across the board. It's going to be certain areas dropping more and more in price, which leads us to another question. Big banks are probably going to be collapsing even more because that situation is not over just yet. Interest rates are still pretty high. So how can we make money from this? A lot of people have said that a lot of the tech cities in the West Coast, you can't really save them anymore. I say Seattle, if prices drop even more, that may be a pretty decent city to get into since it's pretty close to Vancouver. There's a pretty big connection, lots of traffic, lots of commerce. But the Bay Area is kind of dead, guys. It could even become like the next Detroit situation. It's kind of like Detroit where a lot of the automotive industry moved out. Same thing with the Bay Area. A lot of the tech companies are moving out for Florida and Texas. And highly recommend the Miami real estate market. It's absolutely booming right now. You got the Wall Street finance guys moving in and much, much more. So I wouldn't really say that this market you know, is totally bad. It's going to be certain areas that's really underperforming the market and even going down in price. And if you really want to risk it, you could go and buy those cheaper homes in some of the bigger cities because they have dropped like 20, 25% in some locations. It's crazy. So before guys leave, make sure you guys check out like the private Discord server, guys. It's a Patreon link below in the description for some amazing trades. Trade with us, guys, and make some money with us. See you later. And if you guys ever get rich, definitely check out some of these Miami condos. Hey, I mean, foreclosures are up. You might as well check some of these out. And seriously, like a thousand square feet, basically seven hundred seventy-nine thousand dollars, and you get something like this. It's incredible to get something like this. Whereas other cities like L.A., you know, Seattle, San Francisco, you could only get a one bedroom.